Hello friends, how are you? Are you fine? I hope so. Today we are going to learn the Pythagorean theorem, the most famous theorem in the history of mathematics. It is known by everyone. Everyone knows about the Pythagorean theorem. Even non-mathematics academic students also known uh, knows about this theorem. So, in this video, we are going to learn about the proof of this theorem. Very easy proof. So, stay connected for the easy proof and an example of uh, Pythagorean theorem. So, let's start. I am making here a square. Okay giving the same value c okay then i am making an other bigger square around this small square so let's suppose i am making here uh, this is a square bigger square and in uh, uh, in this bigger square there is a small square containing the value same value because all the sides are equal of the square so c c and c and c okay so i am giving now here the names uh, there are uh, actually by looking deeply on, uh, into this bigger square we can judge that there are actually four triangles here actually four triangles are here by looking here we can also judge it okay so four triangles are there in the bigger square i am giving the name here let's suppose this is a this is b again this is a this is b again this is a this is b again this is a this is b because according to the symmetry these both triangles of the opposite sides are equal so both uh, by diagonally these both uh, four triangles are equal and their values are same a a b b okay uh, now, sorry, there is a mistake. Students, there is a mistake also. Uh, okay. A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B. Okay. Now, you know that what is the area of the bigger square? The area of the bigger square will be the inner square and the whole the bigger square the bigger square means the four triangles the area of the four triangles so four triangles area of the four triangles plus one square is also there so you know that what is the area of a triangle one triangle it is a one upon two a b okay because the values are a b and the square area of the square is c square you know that this is a c square now dividing these i will get 2ab and c square this is the area of area one it means area of the bigger one okay now it is the area of 1 and also I can easily take the area of the bigger square easily because there are two parts of the line A and B. By using these both I am making the square. Okay. Let's suppose this is A and this is a B. If I want to fill up them and want to get the square so I will make here same line okay so this will be also a b a b a b so i can also find the area by using this formula so i am making i am giving the name here one this one this equation is the equation number one now i am finding the area by using this square formula and you know that if we uh, solve this formula, the area will be a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, this is the area 2 and this is the area 1. And these both are same. Here we use a different formula. 
and different condition and here we use a different formula and different condition so actually these are the areas of the bigger square so if the bigger square only one and two formulas are there two values are there so they they both are equal area one is equal to area two area one is equal to area two so area one is two a b plus c square and area 2 is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Now, subtracting this from both sides, c square is equal to a square plus b square. And students, this is the proof of Pythagorean proof, Pythagorean theorem. Proved beta. Okay, now we will discuss the one example. Uh, on this theorem okay so let's start so I have a triangle here whose one side or one leg is equal to B uh, sorry 5 and other leg is equal to 3 and we have to find this value you have to know that whenever you are given a right angled triangle this is let's suppose C this is B this is A so actually this C is called hypotenuse hypotenuse and B is called base and A is called perpendicular okay so if two sides or two legs are given easily we can use uh, easily by using the Pythagorean theorem which is C square is equal to A square plus B square we can find easily the value of C here okay so what will be the value of C square C square will be A it means 5 square and 3 square got it now c square is equal to 25 plus 9 25 plus 9 and c square now again will be 25 plus 9 will be 34 so by giving both sides square root I will get the value plus minus 34 why I am giving plus minus because under root is taking both sides ok under root means taking both sides plus and minus so the value of C will be this Again, there is an example, students. There is an example, two legs are given. Okay, so here, hypotenuse uh, means x is unknown and base is given 2 and perpendicular is given 3. Okay, we can also say that base is equal to b and uh, perpendicular is equal to a. Okay, you can write c square is equal to a square plus b square or h square is equal to perpendicular square plus base square we have to find what h so, so h square is equal to p square 3 square and b is equal to 2 square this is equal to 9 plus 4 and this will be 13 so h square is equal to 13 but we want the value of h so i will give here plus minus this one and plus minus this one so this will be cancelled h is equal to plus minus 13 this is our value uh, i hope students you like the video if you like the video please subscribe my channel because your subscription is a solid support for me thank you very much and stay connected for more videos